Hey guys, today I'm going to show you, or right now I'm going to show you how to use Google Classroom and mainly the home page. So on the home page, you will see um, on the very top the title of the class. So if it's science, then it'll say science or science aid or whatever. And then right underneath there, usually if um, I have shared a Google Meet link um, in order to video chat with you, it'll be right under here. And then on the left side, you'll see things that are upcoming. So if you click on view all, you'll see all the things. Uh, but this gives you a quick overview of the immediate things that are, that are almost due. And then you've got your stream. So this is the stream tab. So stream is just like a blog. Everything that is um, newest will pop up at the top. So when I post an assignment or an announcement or material or whatever it happens to be, it'll show up at the very top. So you can go back in time by scrolling all the way back. These are all things that were uh, assigned previously. Okay, another way to look at everything, uh, because sometimes this is too confusing, is to go to classwork. And um, if I have organized things by topic, I usually organize by uh, topic or unit. Um, you'll see it divided up that way. And usually I'll have a section at the top that says important documents or references, things that I think you might come back to. So it's kind of handy to have it there. And that way you can always access it. Down here on the left, you can sort it by certain categories. So if you're only interested in a certain topic and seeing what you did for it, you can just click on that. And then everything in that section will show up. At the top, you'll see view your work. You can also access this from the classes view. Uh, that's the same button, this one. But in class work, you can also click on that same button. This will show you a summary of everything about you. Um, all your assigned work, all the, uh, you can see some are missing here. All the things that were returned with a grade. So everything that I returned to you. Um, and please don't return them back to me unless there's some reass uh, reassessment or revision that you made, a change that you made. Um, then you have all your missing stuff. Okay, so that's really handy. You should go here and make sure nothing is missing. If something is, then it's time to get on it. Okay, so that's um, the summary page. And at the very top, if there is a mark assigned, in most of my classes, we don't use percentages uh, done through Google Classroom, um, except ADST, in which case you can see your overall percentage up here. And if you click on it, it tells you grade calculated by total points earned by the student, Thanos. Okay. Oh, the other thing I want to show you in class work as well is Google Calendar. If you click on Google Calendar, it'll actually show you uh, a list of, or a calendar of all your classes in Google Classroom and when things are due um, and other things that your teacher or I have added to your classroom. But this is for all your classes together. So all your classes will show up on this uh, list here. Um, or oh, actually your, your student name will show up here and all your stuff that's due will show up here. Um, you can change to day, uh, month, year, uh, week, uh, whatever you want. It's just like the, the regular default uh, Google Calendar, except it's built into Google Classroom. So pretty handy if you want to plan ahead. You can also add your own events to this as well. And there are ways that you can synchronize it to your phone calendar so that you can always have this calendar handy. Okay, so that's an overview of all the things that you can do in Google Classroom uh, from the homepage, the stream, and classwork. If you have any questions, please email me, um, and please check Google Classroom daily.